Hi everyone, I'm Jarvis. Today I want to show you is how to use the Mail app to plug the audio wave in time or frequency domain. I have already uploaded my code to the Mail app exchange website a few days ago. The title is Plug Audio Wave in Time and Frequency Domain. So maybe you will ask me, this is a very simple thing. Why I want to introduce how to use it? Because it's very there are large, there are few code, and if you want to use it, you have to pl you have to try every time. It's like a routine. So I simplify it as a function. So I can show you is how to use it. Okay, uh, the first you can see my I have eight parameters here, but the required input parameters is only this fourth. And what is this four parameters means? Okay, first I can input a uh, audio. For me is wave read, and for most newest version is audio read. Okay, most of people is like only use this one to plug the wave. Yeah, this is very simple thing. So I can use it, but if I want to know more information about the frequency or time is another thing. So I can show you how to use my function. So first just type my wave name, my function name. Okay, the first. The first one is if you want to create a new figure, just use one as yes. So now it's one. And the second one is the wave data. Here is clean. And the sample rate is FS. And the fourth one is which one you want to use is time or frequency. So I can demo the time first and then show you frequency later. Okay, like this one. And you can see this is in the samples. It's the default. And then what is my other parameters, like this part? The fifth parameter is if you use zero, the xx is samples. And if you use one, you can see the time, the sample in time, like this one. So you can see here is the time. So my speech is only 2.5 seconds. And next one is name. You can just put your title name here, like clean speech. So here is clean speech. And then I can show you how about the frequency. And frequency is aligned with this parameter. You can remove frequency if you don't want to see. So in this speech, I can change these parameters to FREQ. And you can see the spectrogram here. And then the next parameter, you can remove what energy you want to remove. Like here, maybe there are so many strong energy is from 0 to 20. It's like this part. And I want to remove all of here. So you can put 0 here. See? Two different. And for more convenient to see, I change the another thing as my negative 50 here as a background to easier to watch this spectrogram. And the uh, final, I want to tell you how about this parameter. This parameter is used in subplot. So first I have to open a new figure and use subplot. Maybe I can open the first one 
and then product in time domain. So you can replace these two zero, and this is a time domain figure of my audio speech, and then the frequency here. Ah, I have to stop off first. Okay, open the second fi figure and then plot in frequency domain. So this is a zero four. And the final parameter is frame size. It's like if my sample rate is sixteen and if the frame size is thirty two millisecond, so they are 512 samples as a friend. So it depends on what friend size you want to change to be used in FFT for spectrogram. Okay, thanks for your watching. My next video is about how to use MATLAB to real time plot audio wave. like this one. So I will introduce it for next time. If you want to know how to real-time plot the signal, just subscribe me or follow my next video. Thank you.